Spring summer trends don't have to be overwhelming and it's just about how we style and incorporate things into our wardrobe. Take for example, suiting. Suits are massive for spring summer and this is a trend that I am absolutely here for. Number one, I have a tendency to gravitate towards trousers 50% of the time and same with blazers. So for me, it's just about tapping into new style ideas so that I can get excited about my wardrobe again. So let's take this example. I'm wearing an affordable pair of Uniqlo trousers, which by the way, are cut so beautifully that you wouldn't even think that they were from Uniqlo. My husband looked at them and said, if I didn't know any better, I would have thought those were YSL. So I paired this look with a shrunken cardigan that's also from Uniqlo, and then with a Maison Margiela bodysuit. I just ended up pairing the look with Andamula Meester sandals and then a Y project belt from Essence. If I did want to wear this look with a blazer, I can just pop on this Rick Owens blazer over top. This one is really cool because on the lapel, it has this leather-like effect that's actually more of a satin fabric. You can find this one on Essence on sale for 70% off. So I'm going to make sure that I link that down for you below. And I am wearing a size 44 Italian. Suits don't necessarily have to mean trousers. You can definitely wear a skirt or you can even wear a pair of shorts. And these ones are from Uniqlo. I love the length on these because I'm very comfortable with something that's a little bit longer as opposed to short shorts these days. I paired the shorts with a Uniqlo sweatshirt from the men's section in a size extra small. And then I just accessorized with a Celine bag, my Y project belt, and then a pair of Jill Sander furry slippers. And just to show you how versatile the whole suit trend is, you don't have to wear it in a way that screams office, I'm working a nine to five. So here I just decided to go for a more rock and roll chic kind of aesthetic. So I'm wearing those same Uniqlo shorts again. I'm wearing a Frankie Shop vest that I got from Essence. And then my blazer is from Ohm Girls. The boots are from Maison Margiela. They're the tabby ones with the two inch heel. The black is balanced off with that vintage bag from Louis Vuitton. And this one is from LXR. I'll make sure that I'll leave a discount for you down in the description box if you do want to shop with them. Let's move into the next trend that I'm actually very much surprisingly into for spring summer, and that is sheer. Anything sheer, transparency, corset, kind of lingerie inspired stuff is something that has really caught my attention. It's so funny because sometimes I don't overthink these trends. I just generally go with whatever feels right. And as my style evolves, I find myself surprised at the things that I'm drawn to. I recently picked up this Andamula Meester sheer top from Essence. To balance out the femininity and the sheerness of the top, I incorporated some cargo pants. These ones are from Uniqlo and they are in a size small. For the shoes, I went with a platform leather sandal and these ones are from Philip Limb. And the bag is my Bottega Veneta bucket bag. This one is from the fall winter 2022 collection. It's sold out, but I believe that they have very similar ones in their most recent collection. So I'll make sure that I link that for you. For this next look, I wanted to play with sheer on sheer. So I'm introducing this sheer corset from Maison Margiela. I love how it flows really well with the airiness of the Andamula Meester top. I think that it looks 10 out of 10. And this is something that I'm so comfortable in. It's something that I've worn on my Instagram with a pair of Maison Margiela carpenter jeans and I thought it looked really good. Now to dress this look up, I just wanted to incorporate a trouser in here and these ones are from Mango and I still have to have them hemmed so you'll have to excuse the length on these. I feel like the look is very date night ready. It's also something that I can wear to an event and I feel very much myself still. So this is how I can incorporate these trends like sheer and still feel like myself. It's about injecting little trends throughout and then adding pieces that I already have so that it feels familiar. Now, if I want to dress this look up even further, that Rick Owens blazer ties in really nicely here because it does have that really beautiful satin slash leather-like effect in the front. If the previous look is too dressy for me, but I still want to wear this outfit, I can just easily swap out the white pants for a pair of black ones. These ones are the Frankie Shop Gelzo trousers, and they are one of my favorite ones because they're high-waisted and they have that very flattering pleat in the front. Another trend that I'm very much into for spring and summer is cargo pants slash utility pants. This is something that I've been wearing throughout my Instagram, on my TikTok. I recently picked up these Maison Margiela Carpenter pants and I think that they are absolutely beautiful. 
The details on these jeans are spectacular and what I'm really drawn to are the subtle paint splatters all throughout the pants. I like wearing my cargos with a pair of platform sandals because platforms are something that we're going to be seeing a lot in spring summer 2023 and this is again that Philip Lim one that I recently picked up. These ones are so comfortable and they're like walking on little clouds and it's something that I'm really looking forward to wearing this season. For the top I just opted for a basic tank and it actually has a built-in bra. It's from Uniqlo and it costs about $30 I believe. The support on this one is actually really good so if you're a little bit bigger chested definitely try this one out because I was very very surprised with it and by the way I am wearing a size small in this one. If it's a bit chillier out I could just easily pop on a jacket and this is a denim one that I picked up last year from Remain Berger Christensen. It does have built-in shoulder pads which is something that I really like. It just changes up the silhouette a bit compared to the standard denim jacket. Now on the more affordable side, Uniqlo does have a really amazing selection of cargos and utility pants right now. For this look, I just paired it with a belt that's in a black color just to kind of help ground out that white. Over my shoulders, I'm wearing a knit sweater. This one is from Maison Margiela and it was also an Essence pickup from last year. The bag is a vintage Chanel one that I picked up on LXR and it's playing off the tote bag trend that we're gonna see a lot for spring summer. So if you have any tote bags that are in storage, now is the time to take them out and to start incorporating them into your wardrobe. Cargos and utility don't necessarily just have to stick to our trousers, our skirts, or our shorts, and they can definitely be incorporated into our outerwear as well. This jacket is from Everlane, and it's made out of a really beautiful organic cotton canvas. I styled it here with the crisp white tank top from Mango. The sneakers are from Maison Margiela, and those are also an Essence find. The white cotton utility jeans really help balance off that heaviness of the leather and then by incorporating a strappy sandal in there it just kind of helps break everything up as well so thinking about details when we're styling our spring summer looks is something that's really important so think about balance masculine versus feminine like i already touched on and also heavy fabrics versus lighter fabrics having a little bit of that balance just really helps everything come together this look really proves how this blue sun jacket from Boda Skin goes with so many of the pieces that I have in my wardrobe. Here I'm wearing a full cotton skirt from Grana. I like that it's black so it feels like it's part of my wardrobe even though the silhouette of this skirt is something that it's very different to me. I introduced pieces that were a little bit edgier with that Y Project belt and then that tank from Talia Beyer. For the sandals, I went with the same Andemila Meester rope sandals as before and I love the overall look. I think that it's very chic, it's very simple and it's also something that's very comfortable and a lot of the times my style is comfort based first. Well, no, it's probably style based first and then comfort. As I wrap up this video, I just want to remind you to have fun with your style, experiment with new things, whether you decide to participate in trends or leave them. I think that it's really important at the end of the day to do what makes you feel your best and makes you feel your most confident self so have fun when you're getting dressed stay inspired if you did enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thank you everyone for watching and thank you so much essence and uniqlo for sponsoring this video make sure that you check out this one on spring trends next i'll see you in the next video bye